Welcome back to another video everyone. I had a message on Instagram yesterday saying that I should do another conspiracy video and I felt like it hadn't been that long since the last one. Then I checked and found out it's been six years already. Six months, sorry. <laughs> six years. I don't think these videos would have worked very well back then six years ago because nobody knew what I looked or sounded like and that was definitely for the best. But anyway, I'm sure a lot's happened in the past six months that we can check out so let's get into it. This first one we're going to take a look at is one of the bigger things I think that's happened over the past five, six months. I won't read them all because it's like a five post conspiracy saga, but it's about the metal monolith thing that was appearing all over the world. Government officials have discovered a massive metal monolith in a remote part of Utah's desert. The over 10 foot tall structure was first spotted by a helicopter pilot. The pilot, Brett Hutchings, called it one of the strangest things he's ever encountered. Now again, that was just the beginning. A week later, it disappeared. The mysterious metal monolith that was found in Utah's desert last week has disappeared. The 10 foot tall structure has been replaced with a small stone memorial. Then a couple days later in Romania, another one appeared and disappeared. Another large metal monolith has appeared and vanished, this time in Romania. This comes just days after the first one in Utah vanished. It doesn't end there though, yet another metal monolith has appeared, this time in a park in Southern California. The monolith was spotted on Wednesday afternoon, just like the previous two massive metal structures. This one disappeared quickly after it was discovered. Whoever's putting these down, what on earth is the point of putting them there just to take them back? It's like, if this is aliens, like, oh, we discovered Earth, let's put our metal monolith down, like humans did on the moon with the flag. You didn't see us go back to the moon like, oops, sorry, forgot to take this. I'm sorry if you're getting bored of this, but this is the last one. More metal monoliths have appeared around the globe since the previous sighting in California. Since December began, monoliths have been spotted in many locations, including a beach in England, a field in Belgium, as well as locations in Spain, Germany, and Colombia. Okay, we're gonna Google this and find out the true answer, if there is one. I mean, it's been a good few months at this point but i want to give my own personal thoughts first first of all you got to consider the fact that it could just be a prank you know a group of people they just watched 2001 space odyssey and got a great idea for a prank and then as more people covered it and it became this huge thing a lot of people around the globe thought you know what I want to do that. That could work, but I mean, that's a lot of effort for people to do. I mean, th these are 10 foot tall structures. Another theory that a lot of people believe is that it's aliens. Now, again, I believe in aliens, but I don't believe that they did this because why would they put it down just to take it back? There's loads of different things it could be. I personally think it's just a prank that humans did or, or something, but this whole thing was big for a couple weeks and then it just sort of flatlined. With each monolith that appeared days apart from each other, it just built up to nothing. Because I never did find out who put these there or what was going on with them. And no one's talking about it anymore. Guys, can you hear this guy? He's interrupting my video with a saw. I'll show him. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> Wonder if he heard me. Oh, see, he stopped. Yeah, he heard me. All I know is I bet Co-Theories, the Instagram account, was loving this. I follow Co-Theories. I like their account. That's where they get the, that's where I get the conspiracies from. I bet they were loving this though. This was free content. Yes, another monolith appeared. I can make a new post. So I'm back. I did a bit of intense research. Artist group takes credit for mysterious Utah monolith. I mean, okay, well, we'll, we'll read a bit more because anyone could really take credit for it, you know? It's like when an event happens and no one's really taking credit for it. So someone who actually didn't do it was like, you know what? I did that. I'm not saying that's the case here though. This is probably true because there's loads of articles about this. While the monolith's origin has sparked countless theories from aliens to a marketing ploy, a small community of stunt artists have now seemingly claimed responsibility and are even offering up more for a hefty $45,000. The community of artists, known as the most famous artists, posted a photo of the monolith on their Instagram account Friday, saying only monolithasaservice.com. To provide proof, the final post featured a masked artist in the process of making one of the mythical monoliths. Well, I guess that's the end of it. Uh, that really did build up just to crash back down because that is a very boring explanation for it. Yeah, I want it to be this top secret. I, I didn't want an answer, to be honest. If it was still unsolved and no one saw them putting them down or taking them away, I think that would have been a lot cooler. Then I maybe would have considered aliens. So if you want to go and buy one, definitely go check them out. Anyway, about half the video is going to be on this one conspiracy, so let's move on. The Titanic 2 is scheduled to set sail in 2022 and will retrace the route of the original ship. Oh, well, they're not going to have to worry about icebergs this time because they've all melted. A UFO was spotted above a freeway on the outskirts of Los Angeles last Saturday. Is it Los Angeles or is it Los Angeles? I think I'll stick to saying LA. An eyewitness shot this photo while heading south on the 101 freeway just out side of Thousand Oaks. She claims she saw this object hovering in the sky, flying in the same direction she was heading, with a group of lights trailing behind it. So the fact that it was flying in the same direction as her and the lights were following as well, a lot of people think it's a reflection of the engine light and whatnot from inside the car. And again, the fact that she described it as following with her, that would make a lot of sense. However, 
I think it's aliens, because I believe in aliens and I like them. Apple has warned MacBook users against covering the camera on their laptops, as doing so could allegedly break the display. The company went on to say that the computer has been tightly designed to close properly and a sticker or post-it note could impede the seal, causing damage to the display. You know what, they probably are being genuine about this and they're just trying to tell people not to do this so it doesn't break their laptops, but this was probably like one of the worst things they could have said because now, they, now it's going to turn into this conspiracy theory where everyone thinks the government are watching through their webcams and they're trying to get people to not cover them up. They're probably just tired of repairing them and they just want to get a statement out there to stop people from doing it. It probably went a little something like this. All right, pass it here. Let's take a look at this thing. Oh, it's another fucking display broken because someone's tried to cover up their webcam. Look, we need to say something about this, you know, because covering up the webcam is like a more popular thing now than ever. With all the theories and social media, everyone saying, you know, to cover up their webcams, everyone's probably doing it now. Who am I to say that no one's watching through it though? I have no idea what they're doing. Do it if it makes you feel safer at the end of the day. But them saying this probably encouraged more people to cover up their webcams and to stop doing it. Some believe that humans were more advanced in science and technology in the distant past than we are today. It is thought that much of ancient history is suppressed and we are instead told that we're currently at the height of science and technology. I don't understand what we'd gain by pretending that we weren't more advanced back then. What on earth are we going to gain from that? But I do believe that, yeah, that, I mean, people back then were very advanced. Think about the pyramids, for example, and when they were built. Like, people really did that back then. Not only that, though, but they aligned them with stars and crap. I mean, they did some insane stuff back then. That's just one example. I think, yeah, I mean, people were advanced back then. Not entirely sure if it's more advanced than we are now, but still. Still, it's not a theory I'm fully going to disagree with. The world's first ever space hotel is set to be operational by 2027. The group behind it, Orbital Assembly, plans to begin building the Voyager station in low Earth orbit in 2025. I believe its interstellar resort may be operational by just two years later. Right, how much is that going to cost to stay in for a night? Some of the most expensive hotels on Earth can cost thousands a night. So how much do you think a hotel in space is going to cost? My guess is at least six dollars. I mean, that shit is going to be ridiculously expensive. I mean, I don't even know why this is a theory. I just realized that, you know, a lot of these things aren't actually theories, like the Titanic thing. I mean, that's actually being built, so it's not even a theory. I do think this is a pretty cool idea. I mean, this would be like your highlight of life, right? Being able to go into space. It would be an incredible experience. It really would, but... Yeah, it's probably going to cost a shit ton of money. We'll see though. I mean, that's not very far away. It's this decade, so... We've got a Simpsons conspiracy theory here. The Simpsons predict everything. Well, actually, this is fake. You know, I'm probably going to do another Simpsons conspiracy video soon. I think I've done two of those in the past. It's sort of like a spin-off series to this one, where we just look at these. But yeah, I'm probably going to do another one of those soon. But yeah, this is fake. The original image is this. I mean, the Photoshop's okay. It's not terrible, but the more you look at it, the more it becomes quite obvious. I think they went too detailed for this one, you know? I think they tried to add in... Actually, I think they tried to make him look too similar to the real-life picture. But you know what's funny about these Simpsons predictions? Every Photoshop that uh, you'll see, even if it's about a new event, they're always in such shit quality. I feel like the lower they put the quality, the harder it is to tell it's fake. Astrophysicist Michio Kaku sorry if I butchered that name, firmly believes that humans will come into contact with aliens by the end of the year 2020. Yeah, it's 2021 now. I don't know if they're just running late, but uh, from what I know, we haven't came into contact with them just yet. But you never know, maybe they did uh, come in contact with us. Maybe the metal monoliths were actually aliens. And this group just thought, you know what, we can make a business out of this and take credit for it. I don't believe that. Right, I think we're going to leave it at that for today. I've been recording for about an hour now. I don't know how many I've looked at. I think the first one maybe like took up nearly the whole video, but still. But that was, again, probably the biggest event that has happened since then when it comes to conspiracies and stuff like that. Um, unless I'm missing something huge, but I don't think I am. Let me know down below what you thought about the theories and what you think they could be, like the UFO one, for example. And yeah, I don't know when the next one of these videos will be, but I'll do a Simpsons spin-off one in a couple weeks or a month or something. But yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Definitely subscribe if you're new here. Shout out to Co-Theories, the Instagram account. That's where I got the theories from. And I will see you all in my next video.